Welcome to Statics. Solving multiple free body diagram problems. Some problems we encounter will require that you construct more than one free body diagram. For example, the system shown here has two points, C and E, which we could define as particles and construct free body diagrams. The suggested problem solving strategy in these cases is to sketch all possible free body diagrams. Then select the free body diagram with the fewest unknowns, and begin there writing equations of equilibrium. If one of your free body diagrams has only one or two unknowns, then you can solve for them with your two equilibrium equations, sum of forces x equals zero and sum of forces y equals zero. Then move on to the next free body diagram and transfer any shared forces between the diagrams. Often, one of the forces that you find from analyzing your first free body diagram will transfer directly to the next diagram. For example, Notice that points C and E in the example shown both share cable CE. If I find the tension in cable CE by analyzing a free body diagram at point E, then I can transfer it to the free body diagram for point C, then find the remaining unknowns at point C. This example requires multiple free body diagrams to solve. We have two weights, N, which is known at 20 pounds, and W, which is what we are to find and we are given the orientations of the cords relative to the horizontal and or vertical axes. So we'll begin our solution by analyzing the possible free body diagrams. We can draw two, one at C and one at E. If we look at point C, we see three forces, T, C, D, T, C, E, and W, all of which are unknown. So we will have three unknowns, but we only have two equations of equilibrium available the sum of forces in the x direction and the sum of forces in the y direction. So we cannot make much progress if we start with point C. So let's look next at the free body diagram of point E. Point E also has three forces, T, C, E, T, E, F, and N. However, we know N is 20 pounds. Thus we have two unknowns and two equilibrium equations. By solving our equations of equilibrium, we can find T, C, E, and T, E, F. Our strategy then is to solve for TCE using the free body diagram of point E, then transfer our answer for TCE to the free body diagram at point C, leaving only two unknowns that we can solve for by summing forces with our two equilibrium equations. So this may seem a little indirect, but it is very common in engineering to have to use multiple free body diagrams in order to solve for the desired unknown. So let's begin with the free body diagram of point E. If we analyze it, we see two unknowns. Let's write our two equations of equilibrium. We will have two unknowns in both equations. In the x direction, we'll have TEF times the sine of 30 minus TCE times the cosine of 45. In the y direction, we'll have TEF times the cosine of 30 minus TCE times the sine of 45 minus 20 is equal to 0. Solving these equations simultaneously, we'll obtain values for TEF and TCE of 54.6 and 38.6 pounds, respectively. Now let's analyze our free body diagram of point C. We will bring in the value of TCE. Now the cable between points C and E will be in tension, so I show it as tension in my free body diagram. By comparing TCE in both free body diagrams, we see that they are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. I now write my equilibrium equations for point C. I will start with the x direction because we only have one unknown there. The equation is TCE, which is 38.6 multiplied by the cosine of 45 minus TCD times 4 over 5 to get the horizontal component pointing to the left. Solving for TCD, we get 34.1 pounds. Now in the y direction, we will have 38.6 times the sine of 45 pointing up. We also have the vertical component of TCD pointing up, which is 34.1 times 3 over 5. And we have our unknown W pointing down. I set the equation equal to 0, and solving for W, I get 47.8 pounds. 